hi guys how are you doing this your girl fina so today we're going to do everyday makeup we're going to use um basic things that you need when you're doing your makeup you know like makeups that we do these days we do a whole lot you need tons of products you need this you need that so i'm going to try my best to just keep it simple okay that's what we're doing today this is everyday makeup in summer you don't need too much going on in summer and mainly if you are in a place if you and mainly if where you're living is humid or really i don't know like africa guys you know what i'm saying where it's really sunny you don't need tons of makeup when the weather is really hot so we are going to try and keep it simple yeah let's start with spf this is vital before you start your makeup you need spf even when you're not having makeup on on a normal day you need to apply spf on your face even when you're staying at home because the sun will still come in through your window or anywhere that you can see sun speak through for me, even winter time, I wear my SPF. So I don't have like time off when I say, oh, the weather is this, I don't wear it. You have to. Like even when I'm not wearing that much, I just wear a little bit, but nothing. I know they say three or two fingers, like you need to run it. I don't do that. I just put on as much as I want. I don't put that much and it works for me. It's been working for me. I'll be using the Crop Beauty Wish Ray Hydrating Primer. That's my, I don't even know why I'm shaking. It doesn't shake. So just remember I said if you want this primer to come out, you need to press the tube. Press the tube like that and I want to get the SS large one because the SS large one is just a tube that you have to press and apply it on your face. I love this primer. It's just the, the way it comes out is just what I don't like. I prime all over my face yeah primer on so yeah primer on we're going to let it sit for a while before we carry on while i let that sit let me do my eyes for the first time i'm doing my eyes first benefit precisely my brow pencil and um the shade i'm using is 4.5 let's do the brow first oh it's really wait let me put a little bit of powder there it's literally it's really slippery and i don't want that i'm just going to use my foundation brush and go over that just want to cancel out that shiny bit it's just too slippery for my liking majority of times when i wear makeup i like having like my same look i don't want to really take out fina from the makeup look if you know what i mean i just want it to look like me but just in a put together way that is why it's called makeup or not like when i finish the makeup you can't find me in the makeup does that make sense i don't know but i just feel like to me it does so yeah that is it what am i going to use so let me use the pot concealer to clean my under eye so i'll be using the which one is this one nc48 mac pot concealer to use my brush with technique brush just to make it look seamless and even just like that you don't have to use tons of products if you are doing your makeup even when you're going for occasion it's really when you're going for occasion to me, I feel like that's where your makeup needs to even look simple. Just to be on the safe side. I did that on the camera. Quick! <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I'm really getting there now. Okay, now that is it. Let's get into, let's dive into the... So I'm going to start with concealer. I'll be using the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer in the shade 46 for my under eye. Remember, we're going for a natural finish. So, we ain't doing too much bright bright today. Just like that. Yep. Yeah. And I'm just going to let that sit. Do you know what? Where is my phone? We don't have time to let it sit. So, I'm just going to use my phone. If you have fun, why are you letting it sit? 
can you tell me why I should erase it? Easy peasy. Done. So now I'm going to blend that. I'll be using my Sephora foundation brush. This came in a set, so I'll be using that to blend it. Like that. Ooh. <laughs> Did you see what happened? Look. And my hard work. Don't worry. Don't worry, I will sort that out. So I know sometimes, you know, I'm looking that way, I'm looking here. I have my TikTok camera here and I have my YouTube camera there. So if I am looking either way, it's just know that I'm looking at you. Please, if you're on TikTok, support my YouTube channel. And if you're on YouTube, please support my TikTok channel, please. Like this is my side hustle as a single mom. I just want something that will give me time for my kids. That was why I started investing and putting more time on my social media. So please. In any way you can help me this is the best way you can help me please just subscribe like and please comment on my videos please because the more you comment people will see the video if you like it just say something if there's anything you want me to do or anything you want to see just let me know please i need your support i need your help i need something that will give me time for my kids because if i can do this from home and then still do my job it's making out time for them so I just use the concealer and go over my nose like that. This concealer is really good. If you need more coverage, all you have to do is just give it more time and you will love this concealer. Yeah. So that is it. Guess what we're not using today? We're not using, we're not using foundation. Nah, we're not doing foundation today. No. Nah. Don't be disappointed. We're not doing foundation. That is why it's easy. I told you today's makeup is really easy. Is on the go. I'm just using my foundation brush to just staple that in to cast a little harsh line like that. See that? So I'm going to use my bronzer. This is made by Mitchell Bronzer. I'm using the shade and lead today. The name is off and your girl is not good with having things upstairs, so I'm sure it's shade and lead. I am sure. Shade and lead or lead and shade. There's something I know there's shade, there is lead. So in any way you want to put it, put it. But there's shade, there is lead. That is what matters. Yeah, that is just all I need. And you leave it on my nose like that. And you leave it here. Yep. And we are going to blend that. So we're going to blend up using my Real Technique brush and just staple that in like that. And then just push push it into my hairline like that. Don't worry, I know it's looking crazy right now. Trust this process and wait for the end result, okay? Always, always wait for the end result. Mm -hmm. yep that's it let's use the concealer brush and go over the side like that okay now i'm really comfortable with my skin so i don't really put anything most times when i take them to school but days that i want to have a little bit like if i'm on the go like now mainly why i don't do it is because i know when i come back i'm going to make a video so i don't put anything on my face but days that i want to put something on my face this is how i will do it quickly and just dash off the road okay so now i'm going to i'm just going to wait for this powder to be the last now i'm going to use my bronze um, no we've done bronzer girl this is blush yes so now i'll be using my blush i'll be using the made by mitchell blush in the shade Toasted terracotta, and then I will use the uh, highlighter in the shade Summer Simpian. So let me show you what the Summer Simpian looks like, just like that. And the Toasted terracotta is a coral shade. Guess why I'm doing this? Because of what I'm wearing. You need to match it. So that is a Toasted terracotta. Yeah. So Melon Sobe is the younger sister to Toasted terracotta. So Melon Sobe will do well on a fair skin, but Toasted terracotta will do well on. A melanin pumping skin so we're going to mix both together so i'm going to put that at the back of my hand since we've started putting it at the back of the hand already and then like that put together and 
I'm going to mix it together. I'm going to use another real technique brush and mix the two together. So I'm just trying to mix it that way. Let's see what concussion we have going on. Yep. So we have that going on. Let's see. Stick it back here. See, it's not doing much. It's not much. It's just just a little bit of that highlight. You can see it. So when I pull my powder on it, I just want the powder to be the last thing to apply on the face. So yeah. This is Muffy nose brush. So I'm going to use my Muffy nose brush. And do you know why I love this nose brush? Just look at that. Really good for the nose. If you are looking for a good nose brush, this is it. So I'm just going to go over that like that. And then the one on the side. This brush is everything. Like if you are looking for a brush that will help you define your nose, this is it. This is it. Do you see how that little bit bronzer that I used? Look, your girl is doing well. They say practice makes perfect. That word is true. Because when it comes to makeup, like every day when I do it, I'm just more proud of myself. Is there a word like that? Yeah. It makes me really proud of myself to see things that I can do. So now I'm going to go in again with that concealer brush because I need to set my under eye now. I know you guys thought I forgot that one. No, I can't forget to set my under eye. There is no way in this universe that I will forget to set my under eye. Let me use the um, Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade Honey. Let's use Honey. Now I need the, what's it called again? Let me use the, let me use the Tree Boy Puff. Let me use the big Tree Boy Puff for that. Answer that and tap off the excess and then under my eye this is big oh i'm going to pinch it just to put that right where i need it this buff is really good and easy to clean as well the black one that i used i just cleaned that this morning and it was so easy to clean the one I got from Amazon as well, um, is it Amazon or look fantastic? That one is easy to clean as well, but just that that one is not as big as this one. But I feel like all puffs are the same. So I don't know why my camera is going dark. And then just set my lid like that and drag it under the nose. If you have oily skin like I do, always, like my oil always speaks through there. So I always like setting that as well when I set my face. So yeah, that is the one that I set. Now I'm going to put powder all over my face. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. So that's what we're using in the shade 410. I'm going to use my all over face powder brush. Ooh, okay. And just staple that where I didn't put anything. So just the powder. And sometimes if you don't want to do it this way, because I don't wait, let me show you. You can use the puff. So I'll use this side, the bottom part of the puff, and do the same. I prefer doing this with a puff than the brush. So just use the puff and staple that. If you need more coverage, use the puff. And one thing with the puff is kind of like precise. It's just putting the product where you need it. You see that? You see that? So it's cutting off the um, the bronzer that I use. Like it's well precise if that is what you want. Try it with the puff. And yeah. Like that. And now with nothing, I'm just going to go over my face like that with the puff and just buff it all over my face. Like that. You see that? So I'm going to use the brush and then just go over everything again. Because your girl has got oily face, so you need to make sure it's all set and even. Okay. 
don't be scared to go back and forth when it comes to makeup you even makes it more flawless when you go back and forth back and forth yeah that is it so i'm just going to set my nose because i forgot that i forgot that i've got a nose to set so i'm going to use the laura messier translucent powder again just a little bit and then oh please what's wrong with you guys and my brow today just let it be let the brow breathe okay stop suffocating it with powder i use the made by mitchell blush i use the 90s nude and this is where we stop i'll just do my eyes but i just want a little bit blush so that is why i'm going into the 90s nude just to top off the blush a bit i don't know why i prefer using wait let me show you the kind of brush i love when it comes to bronze um blush this is not my thing i just wanted to try it this time i prefer i prefer brushes like this one when it comes to blush that i can just stick it like that i love going like that when it comes to my blush i don't like sweeping it so every aboki we can get to so that is not my thing but i just have to do it it's looking good yeah so that is it i'm going to line my eyes off camera let me just put on this i'm using the elf the strawberry one yeah lip balm the new elf lip balm the strawberry one because i'm wearing look we're matching i need to put that first on my lips and by the way this is four pound but tiny too which is really good just pop that in your pores so it's just handy to take anywhere you want it mm. Lining my lips, no, I'm wearing the Fenty Beauty um, lip balm, yeah, Fenty Beauty, the cream one in the shade Fenty Glow. So if I want to line it a little bit, I'll use the Clinique lipstick in the shade um, 30 Velo to line it. So this is chocolate, chocolate, like if you're talking about brown, this is brown. So I just used it a little bit like that. The combination of these two together the combination of these two together is just like you're looking for trouble exactly trouble you're calling for trouble and then i'll use my lip brush to just cancel out that harsh line mm. on top of my lips like that what do you have to say i like it and now i'm going to set my face using the beauty crop wish ray hydrating primer shake it because it's mixed you have the oil part and the water part so always mix them together proper shake yeah this is a very fine mix that is a look what do you think simple and short and you go yeah, so guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I will catch you guys again in my next video. Please comment. I am begging you, help me. This is something that I love doing, and I will really need your help. Please comment and like, share my videos, and I will definitely catch you guys again in my next video. And above all, don't forget to show yourself love, okay? And see you all soon. Bye.